I'm Anthony. And I'm Ricky. Welcome back to Lo Lo Anthony Anthony and Ricky's Guide to Dating. Dating. In the last episode, we gathered our thoughts on what we want in a man and in a lover. But now it's time to put what we learned to the test and actually go out and find the Mm -hmm. lovers. Are we going to actually find love in the dog park that we may be going to? Or are we going to find our dream man on a phone application. Oh. Mm-hmm. Ricky and I are not new to this. No, we're we not. We don't want to be re-downloading these apps and doing this right now, but times are so desperate and the struggle is just so real to find true love out true. there in the world. One of the apps that we will be using is Tinder. Tinder. Yeah, we have a history with Tinder. We really do. Yeah. Like when we first moved to LA, like yes, we were summer. like saying like we were going to find some guys, everything. So we went through the Tinder train. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> We've been through a lot. The worst part with online dating apps is you really don't know the person at all. Like you don't know if this is their real profile picture. You don't know if this is really them talking to you. So that is really the worst part. I was like not trying to like be funny or quirky or anything. I just went right to the point. I just said, looking for a good time. I'm a good time. So there you go with a winky face. My description is, wait, this isn't Christian Mingle. Things you need to know about me. I'm vegan. I love running. I love being around people that make me smile. I love smiling. I love music. And I hate practically nothing. That is an old guy. <laughs> <laughs> that needs to be updated. Uh, now let's stop focusing on us and let's focus on the Tinder people. The people of Tinder. The people that may win our hearts over uh-huh. if they have it in them, which I really doubt. I Let me read sleeping. you one of these messages. He said, hello. I said, hi. He said, what? And these are all in separate messages. What are you doing? And I said, re-watching American Horror Story now. How about you? And then he said, literally same, and the conversation ended. Ew, uh, that's annoying. That was it. That's so annoying. That's Tinder for you. Let's swipe a little bit. Let's okay. swipe a little bit. Let's, Let's find some new people. Oh, my friend. I just found my friend on Tinder. See, this is why I don't- Wait, I don't that's your friend? That's my friend. Me and him were messaging. Oh my, no, literally. No, no way. Literally. No way. Oh, no, literally, God. like. Shut up. Literally. Shut up. I didn't know that was your friend. Whoa. That is my best friend. Yeah. That is my best friend from <laughs> home. All the people <laughs> that are really super liking you are really hurting me yeah. because I, mine are all just sick. For the first time ever, I like haven't been matched at all. Like Anthony was getting all the matches. I'm actually surprisingly finding some new love, which usually is never the case. Ricky is always the person who's getting the matches and I'm always sitting there in the background, disappointed, sad, and lonely. Yeah, I'm very sad about that. He is like one of the most problematic <gasps> boys of Tinder. Do you remember this? Oh my God, this is the catfish. Yep. Okay, another yeah. thing about Tinder is the catfishes. Mm-hmm. The people who put on a fake face and uh, pretend to be someone else so that you will talk to them. The bad part is I actually met up with him. Remember that time when I went through a bunch of Tinder dates? Oh, he was one my of God. them. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was a dark time. <laughs> But you know what? I'm ready to put this phone down. Yeah, I'm over because it. Because one thing about meeting up with people in real life, you can't catfish when you meet someone in person. No. You get to see all of them. Mm-hmm. So I think we're ready. I'm ready. You ready to do it? Let's go. All right, we're And we're here at the park yes, in real life we with are. puppies. <laughs> <laughs> but we're here to test our theory if having dogs will make people love us more. Oh. More importantly, make boys love us more. You I don't know how them. much of a great start we're off to right now, but we're just gonna see what happens. Yeah. I think the puppies will attract the guys. I mean, like, hey, if you don't like puppies, what's wrong with you? Like, are you the devil or something? Like, what? But I just feel like they're definitely gonna stop. I mean, we got some cute puppies. Guide me to where the cute boys are, puppy. Please. Come on. All right, let's see if we can find somebody. Let's go. Let's Hello. Go. Come on, baby. Runyon people, I am single and I'm ready to mingle. <laughs> Hello. I guess we just, boys just don't like us. Watch, these girls are gonna talk to us. Yeah. Things are not going as planned whatsoever, but we're meeting some cool friends. Do you guys like our dogs? Hi, go pet them. Give them love. Pet them, pet them. I wish I I knew her name. I just met her. Go ahead, pet them. I'm so (laughs) nervous. Oh, they love you. Oh, oh. (laughs) Yeah, they hate each other. Yeah, they they might get into a little wrong. He's big! Yeah, we were trying to use them to like get us boys, but that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you guys been out here? We've been here for like ten minutes. 
Like, no guys are stopping for us. They're just walking on past us. You know, like we're meeting friends with girls, but hey, no guys. We're trying to find men and we use them as bait. Yeah, we tried to use them, but they're not There are working. no boys anywhere. Yeah, so. on the females, they really love them. Hi. Yes, yes come hi. on in, come on little circle. Yes. Wow, we created a club for dog lovers. I know, right, for real. We can't find men. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my God. I feel like sad. I feel really sad. I thought this was gonna work. I actually had hopes. I mean, we have these cute ass dogs here. You know, right, and we're cute people. Man, this did not work. <laughs> Never mind. Mine just sits in my hand. I love this dog. This well, dog is me. My dog hates me. All right, so we made an attempt. Yeah, um, no boys. We went out to the real world to find boys. We found boys that they didn't exactly find us. They kind of no. walked right past us with their dog. I know. Kind of hit us like we were invisible <laughs> human beings. It's okay. It was just nice admiring their beautiful faces while we could. Yeah, it was we met cute. some amazing, cute girls. They were so girls cute. Oh my god. hikes. They pet the dogs. They had a good yeah. time with them. But sadly, it did not allow the boys, so our plan failed epically. It failed so bad. We're leaving this park single, Yeah. cold, mm -hmm. sad, mm. lonely. I could go on, but I'm going to stop. Dog parks, not the place to find love. You're not going to get a marriage out of this. Yeah. Actually, I think we should come back with a food truck. Maybe there we go. then we'll attract some people. I just feel like the next plan we should do is like, Go meet guys, like put them all in a room, try to literally figure out who's gonna be our perfect match. I know, like, I feel like, I definitely feel, I feel like we definitely need like all our dates to be presented to us. Mm -hmm. We need to have them there ahead of time. Clearly this us looking is not working. No, <laughs> no, one, no, wants, no. no one wants to be found by us. Nope. It's okay, it's okay. Somewhere out there in the world, there's a boy waiting for us. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Awesomeness and us to keep updated with our lives and our journey for boys. And make sure to tune in next week for another episode of Lo Anthony, Anthony and Ricky's, Ricky's Guide to Dating. Farewell. Bye!